Hey guys, it's Multiplier. We're with DJ Tech Tools today, having a look at this really cool technique in Ableton Live using chain selection to make the process of choosing drum sounds for our drum loops a little bit more fun. So we have a simple drum rack set up with some MIDI information. So we have some kicks, some snares with a little bit of a lost the action going on. And what we want to do is decide which one of our 80 or so snares in a particular sample pack we want to use. So what we've done is we've set up a macro knob on an instrument rack so that as we move this macro knob around, we choose different snares. Pretty cool, right? So you can see how you could try all your different sounds and see which one fits, or you can get pretty crazy and start just kind of jamming out on it and see what kind of insanity happens. Lots of fun to be had, but let's show you how to set it up. So to set this up, it's all about using instrument racks, which is one of the most powerful features of Ableton Live, I think. So we'll go to instruments, instrument rack, and we'll just drag it out into the drum rack slot that we want to have a play around with. So we've dragged out an empty instrument rack. We will hit this little button here, which brings up the chains bit. We will hide away this other button because we don't need to see that right now. And then what we'll do, we'll go over to our snare sample. So we'll just find all 85 snare samples from this particular sample pack. And we'll just drag them into where it says drop an instrument or sample here. And what this will do, it will set up essentially 85 different layers that we can then mix between. So now we've got all 85 layers selected. So they're all in parallel right now. We will get our mouse right over here so that it looks like a little right squared bracket, drag it all the way to the right. We will then do a right click and go distribute ranges equally. This will all make sense in a second. And then what this will do is make it look a little bit like that. And then what we need to do is map what's called the chain selector to a macro knob. So to do that, we hit the macro knob button over here, and then we will do the map button, do a click, and then we will we can basically map anything that's green to a macro knob. So we're gonna map this green region here, which is called the chain selector region. So we'll do a click, and then we will hit map, and then it says chain selector. So that's looking pretty promising. So what we'll do now, we'll hop out of mapping mode and then we will make sure we've got our instrument rack selected and then we'll make sure it's all mapped correctly. So the way to check is, first of all, make sure instrument rack is selected and then move the macro knob either with the mouse or you can use something like an Ableton Push or another Ableton E device. And then as you move it around, you see how this little orange guy's moving? That's the chain selector. And then whatever that orange thing is over, whatever layer has a blue thing underneath it, that's what layer is gonna play. So by distributing it evenly at each individual point in this chain selection region, there'll be a different snare playing. That's kind of the idea. And now when we kind of move it around, we hear all the different snares playing. And then naturally we could name it if we needed to just by doing a click and then something like Command R, we can call it snare selector. And there we have it, a really cool way to audition different drum sounds in Ableton Live, especially if you have a drum loop going, and it's a lot of fun. I've been Multiplier, hope you enjoyed.